Oh, wait, these notes. Show blackmail letter to little Bell. Show fox and demon statue to Jinxie. Okay. That's what we're missing. I thought I'd done that. I clearly didn't, though. Alderman Kubi made that statue. It's a token of goodwill. I think it was meant to be for Ninetales Vale in Tinma Town. A token of goodwill? But the two yokai are fighting. Fighting? Oh, I see what you mean. The cup portion is missing. The statue. Originally depicted the two yokai holding up a cup in celebration. But it sure doesn't look that way now, does it? Hmm. Maybe it broke when it was used to hit Mayor Tinma on the head. That would explain it. I guess the only two people who knew what it really looked like were the Alderman and I. Now it's just me, but its symbol of goodwill will be forever etched in my mind. Ah. That's very important. Write that down. So is there anything else we should know about Jinxie? No. That's about it. Uh, my bracelet, it's reacting. You're lying to me. Don't lie to me, Jinxie. You happen to be... And just as we trust. Yikes! Eek, a ghost. Ah! Detective Fulbright, what are you doing here? I have business with this young lady, if you must know. Prosecutor Blackwell has asked me to question her. I love how it's like... Bloop, 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 on his head as he talks. Question me? Sorry, not interested. Are you here to ask about that whole yokai affair? That's right. Specifically, we want to ask. Ah, uh, but I can't tell you that now, can I? <laughs> oh, come on, please. We're partners in justice, right? No, no. The prosecutor Blackwell specifically told me my questions were of the utmost justice. I will not fall for your lies in justice we trust. The Twisted Samurai sure has him on a short leash. So you're not a ghost? Maybe some sort of urban troll then? Oh, urban troll would be a great name for a store. Now come along, Miss Tenma, to the station with you. Hmm. He took her away. Missed any chance to see what she was lying about. Well, at least we found out there's a secret mechanism for opening the chamber. Let's go check it out. I just hope they let us in now. Well, on our way, a strange thing happened on the way to the foyer. Is his hair blue now? Oh, what an absolutely fabulous scent. I'm so glad I had these combinations imported from England. Nothing but the finest will do. Perhaps I should place one aside for our dearly devoted alderman. Hey, it's Mr. LaBelle. Apollo, let's ask him about you know what. Oh, yeah. Before we search the fox chamber, we should ask about the blackmail letter. Why, if it isn't the males with the warriors. <laughs> oh, um, there's something we wanted to ask. Are your shoulders, um, ringing? Uh, you'll have to excuse me. Hello, Ulubel here. What the? Those things on his shoulders are cell phones? They're not epaulets. Yes, about that, you must forgive me. This whole matter with Mayo Tema has been a complete nightmare. Where, where do you buy clothes like that? Because I want some. <laughs> Surprised! This is my own special design. It's the ultimate in functional beauty. Functional beauty? Are you sure about that? Looks a bit unwieldy to me. Ack! 
<laughs> you simply don't have an eye for beauty. If having an eye for beauty means looking like this guy, I'd rather be blind. So, what do you want with me? Did you see Tin Matero? Both Jinxie and Mr. Filch said they saw Tin Matero. What about you, Mrs. LaBelle? If you were in the foyer, why didn't you see? <laughs> Very well, I admit it. That's right. The Lord LaBelle saw the demon Tenma Tao. Hmm. So he did see something. Then why did you lie about not seeing him? I was simply trying to protect dear little Jinxie. Protect Jinxie? What do you mean? Why, don't tell me I haven't heard of that strange little habit of hers. Which one are we talking about? The one where she wanders around making mischief without knowing what she's doing. Uma has it. She's possessed by Ten Motaro. That one's new to me. <laughs> there you have it. Anytime you hear about a Timotero sighting, Widow Jinxie should be your prime suspect. Tell us more about that rumor. Tell us. I want to hear it. The rumor about Jinxie. So, what was that rumor about Jinxie? They say she's possessed. Not all the time, of course. It hits suddenly! Then she starts wandering around doing strange things! Is that so? Although, come to think of it. That loathsome no good nine tailed fox, he shall know the terror that is mine in despair. That certainly would explain how she was acting earlier. Once she even put on a Timotero costume and wandered around the woods at night. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I'm now Timotero. Caw That's not wandering around the woods. That's taking off in flight. I wish I'd never asked. Does she remember anything while she's possessed? Unfortunately, no. She doesn't seem to remember a thing during those episodes. Memory loss during possession. Hmm. Come to think of it, her memory of the mother scene was quite fuzzy. I suppose that too was caused by her possession. Ah, then maybe. <laughs> so you do understand. That whole yokai business was entirely of her own making. Now wait a minute. Although, that yokai evidence wasn't there until after she discovered the crime scene. Did she leave those black feathers and strange tracks there herself? Apollo, let's ask Mayor Timmer about Jinxie's episodes the next time we talk with him. Um, notes. We would do want to show the blackmail letter to LaBelle. So let's do that. Man, so much to do. I was not expecting this much investigation. I thought we were going to be doing a trial tonight. So much investigation. What is that? It's the blackmail letter, but it wasn't sent to Alderman QB. It was sent to Mayor Tenma. And? Your point being? Someone took the letter from the mayor's briefcase and then placed it in the Alderman's pocket after he was murdered. Oh, you don't say. You wouldn't happen to be the one who made the switch, would you? After all, you're the only one who knew that the blackmail letter was in his briefcase. So, naturally, you- Ah! <laughs> Perhaps that shot of cologne will make those scales fall from your eyes. Or my eyes fall from their sockets. 
Is it possible that you would like to frame me as a potential suspect? That would make you raise such an outrageous allegation in the first place. Oh, uh, well? <laughs> My only crime is being born as beautiful as you see here. In other words, you have nothing! Now, let me show you what to do with this garbage. Ah, you can't destroy evidence like that. What do you mean I can't? I just did! <laughs> Feel a little lighter now. You've just won a one-way trip to the top of my most annoying people ever list, buddy. I'll be done with your silly questions now. I'm a very busy man, you know. I guess that's it for now. Unless there's any more evidence you'd like to destroy. Hello? Rebel speaking? Really? You wish to carry my new product at your store? Oh, but I'm afraid it's my own private brand. It's not available to the public. What? Then I shouldn't advertise it on TV, but I don't understand. As the embodiment of beauty, it is my duty to announce my good looks to the world. Stop the bus. I'm getting off. Pro tip, stop showing your trump card to the supposed villain. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Everyone wants my exclusive Je Suis La Belle brand products. It's the crown jewel of my collection, born of my long, we went with pursuit of beauty. But now that it's become so popular, it's been an absolute nightmare. You don't say. Well, they can't have it. It's just for me. It's not meant for you, peasants. Peasants. This is my latest product. I'm calling it Couleur Me Le Belle. A dazzling hair color that you can wash out with just water. Guess that means you can't sweat. I have seven colors in all. You can find out more in my commercials and magazine ads. It is not available to the public. It's a great sales strategy there, genius. Come to think of it, Mr. LaBelle. Your hair colors changed since the last time we met. Thanks, finally. Somebody else noticed. Oh, <laughs> the little lady has quite the discerning eye. Here's a little sample. Consider it a gift for one who truly appreciates beauty. Oh, um, Apollo, what should I do? Better take it before you get a face full of cologne. Good point. Wow, thanks, Mr. LaBelle. Couleur me LaBelle, added to the court record. Isn't available to the general public. That's an important clue. That's going to be important. All right, Fox Chamber, Fox Chamber. Let's do a puzzle. Let's stop talking to this guy. Bum, 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 bum. Fox Chamber. Let's find that secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. Oh, this is so exciting! I can't wait to see how it works! But do you really think the killer entered the Forbidden Chamber? We'll just have to open it to find out. We should also see if there was anywhere the killer could have hid in this room. Okay, let's get started. Apparate, apparate Paulo, apparate. Examine. All right. The uh, most obvious thing first. Still no keyhole, huh? Can we rotate things around in the door? But just like those spiky bangs of yours. Well, all it takes is some water, but I don't think that would work on the door. Oh, I know. I'll break it down with a body slam. <laughs> I seriously doubt you could do that. How do you know if I haven't even tried? No, wait, don't. As much as you hate losing, Athena, I think the door would win this match. Okay, let me look at the notes here for a second. If there's anywhere the killer could have hid in this room. Well, I would suspect the door of that, but let's examine the things that are new. I don't think we'll find anything else on this chair. All right. 
There's a carving of the nine-tailed fox over the door and statues of him on either side. The way those two statues are glaring is like they're guarding the door from us. Come to think of it, there are two foxes on the folding screen as well. It can't be a coincidence, can it? Hey, this statue moves! Don't get carried away now. I mean, who knows? It might trigger a trap. <laughs> I can handle it. If a spear comes shooting my way, I'll snatch it out of the air. All right. After all, I have the reflexes of a regular karate kid. I guess if you can get something that fast out of midair, you can accomplish anything. Still. There might be something to the fact that these fox statues rotate. Maybe there's something around here that shows the position they should be in. Uh, let's look at this wall over here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to see. But since we're here... Two foxes standing back to back are depicted on this elegant folding screen. Maybe this was the clue. Could this have something to do with the keyhole? Hmm, wait a minute. Two foxes... There are two fox statues. Huh. Two foxes. Two foxes. Two foxes. Maybe the keyhole will appear if we do something to this folding screen. Hmm. But I don't see anything unusual about it. Well, it does have two foxes on it, and there are two fox statues in front of the door. Two foxes. Two foxes. Two foxes. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in this room. Let's turn the whole place upside down. She's excited as a kid as a candy store. All right. Let's... Would I have anything to do with these? I seriously doubt it, but let's look at it. Look, trophies! Oh, this one was awarded to Alderman QB. The Amazing Nine Tails Yokai Division Winner Tenma Town Pro Wrestling Tournament. <laughs> not one, not three, but two. Two foxes. Mm, two foxes. Yokai Division. Apollo, you should enter the tournament next time. And I have the perfect name for you. The Mysterious Firebrand. That's a cool name, actually. A mild-mannered mass lawyer by day, demonic mass wrestler by night. Tiger Millionaire. <laughs> no one's going to hire a mass lawyer, Athena. Don't tell Harvey Birdman about that. All right. Can I do more things to this? I guess I still need to find an appropriate clue. Maybe the killer hid under this table. That would be a terrible hiding place. The ultimate's body would have been right above. Hmm, maybe you're right. Guess the underside is a bit... Wait, there's something under the table. Let's check it out. It's a lot of blood. Whoa. Hey, look! There's something down here. Uh, it's the top of the trove of the thing. It looks like a piece of something. Only question is a piece of what? Hmm. Oh, I know. It might be a piece of this statue. Remember what Jinxie said? Bling, bling. The statue originally depicted two yokai holding up a cup. It was a symbol of goodwill. So this piece broke off and rolled under the table. Fox and Demon statue updated. We've got both pieces. Yeah. But does that help us open the thing? Well, I can't think of anywhere else to look. You find anything, Apollo? We'll never find the key to the Forbidden Chamber at this rate. There's something about that folding screen. You know those fox statues? Those two foxes? Two foxes. Two. Two foxes. In front of the Forbidden Chamber move? That screen might be a clue as to how they're supposed to suppose. Hey, I bet you're right. <laughs> it definitely zappa zappa zappa. Let's go over that screen with a fine tooth comb. I feel like if you just put them back to back, that that would be a thing. All right. On closer inspection, I think there's more to this screen than meets the eye. Let's check every last inch of it. 
tap inside the bottom screen to rotate the folding screen. I can also tap on something of interest to inspect it further. You can also zoom in and out to get a better look. Now let's check every last inch of it. All right. Oh, here we go. Rotate. Uh-oh. There is... There are keyholes here. On the back. What's this? Looks like a keyhole or something. You think it would be the keyhole to the Forbidden Chamber? No, it's just a picture. Still, you know what they say. A picture's worth a thousand words. And there's keys here. It's a picture of a key. Hmm. That shape looks awfully familiar. Oh, I know. It's shaped like the Forbidden Chamber's key. Hmm. So we have to fold this in. Wait. What about that keyhole drawn on the center of the screen? You think the two are related? A key and a keyhole. Oh, I just got an idea. If we folded the screen up just right, the key and keyhole should overlap. Hey, I think you're right. Let's give it a try two foxes two foxes yeah look a door yeah and it's open too the two fox two foxes two, the two foxes are now facing each other so hey what if we made those foxes those two foxes to face each other I'm pretty sure we could have gotten this just trial and error. Like, this would be a really, like, uh, let's spin them. Let's just do the thing over here. All right, help me move the two statues so they face each other. Just like on the screen. Whoa. The keyhole. A lock appeared. We just had to pull apart to find that nice hole to put the key in. Here goes nothing. I feel like that should have been, like, a real easy thing. A real, real easy thing. Two foxes. Two foxes. It worked! Time to see why this chamber is so forbidden. What secrets could it hold, I wonder? The forbidden chamber in which there are two foxes. Two foxes. Creek thud. These doors need some serious oil. Ah! That was like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, right. Forgot about those super good ears of yours. Look, more feathers. Um, there's def- Whoa! There's definitely like a thing of hair cream down there. Eek! What the heck is that? Is that a Tenmataro statue? But there's something odd about it. Ugh, all I know is I don't like it, but I can't explain why. You okay, Athena? You look kind of pale. You're not scared, are you? What of this thing? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> really? Hey, look. What? What is it? Over there on the left, there's a bunch of staffs on that rack. They kind of look like the staff we saw earlier. You mean the one Jinxie said she saw Tenmatero carrying? Yeah, I bet our Tenmatero impersonator really did come here at some point. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's search the place! Examine time number one, because I know everybody else sees it too. Hair product. This is absolutely a crucial bit of evidence. What's this? Whatever it is, the packaging is really gaudy. And the fact that there's no dust on it means it hasn't been here very long. Oh, it's hand cream. Let's see what brand it is. Je suis la belle. La belle? What the? But then, wouldn't that mean Mr. La belle was here? I guess so, but why? Well, whoever was dressed up like Tim Otero, 
must have taken a staff from here in the Forbidden Chamber. And that same person probably dropped this hand cream at that time. In other words, the Timotero impersonator we're looking for is none other than... Florent LaBelle. Two foxes. <laughs> this might be a big break for us in court tomorrow. Now all we have to do is get the truth out of Mayor Tenma. Hand cream added to the court record. But we're not done looking yet. What's down here? Some kind of scroll? Yeah, it looks like an old scroll. And there's something drawn on it. Unless I'm mistaken, it looks like an old guy. Some sort of monk, maybe? A monk? What are you talking about? You know, people that take walks in the mountains as a form of spiritual training. That's one way to describe a monk, I guess. Wouldn't that just be a hiker? Yeah. The guy in this picture doesn't look like he's doing this for fun, Athena. Hmm. Oh, look, there's some yellow thing strapped to his back. Yellow thing. Whoa, it's turning into Tenma Taro. Is it? Or is it just smelling really bad because of Tenma Taro? <laughs> What's this scroll getting at? Is this how Tenma Taro was born? <laughs> is it gold? That's a good question. This is the legendary mustard rock. I like that explanation better. Gold. Psh. Whatever it is, it's definitely creepy. Alright, I see a Rosetta Stone thing over here that is piquing my interest. Or like a tombstone. Looks like a gravestone or something. It reads, Here lies Tin Matero, age 80. He died. Cause of death. Choked on a chicken bone. It's a way to go. Gasp! Say it ain't so! Besides, that sounds more like an autopsy report than an epitaph, if you mean, if you ask me. You know, people don't... Uh, in video games, you always find tombstones that's like a limerick about how somebody died. But people don't ever do that in real life. It's always just like your last name and then like a picture of you like looking real nice. Nobody writes limericks anymore. You're joking around because you're scared. It's your coping mechanism. I'm not, I'm not that scared. Freak out central right here, baby! Cut it out, widget! Denial is strong in this one. Lanterns? <laughs> A stone lantern. Like those Japanese garden lamps? Where's the switch? Lamps like these are lit by fire, not electricity, so there is no switch. Oh, here it is! What? It was hidden out of sight. I see Tim Matero's cell has been outfitted with uh, all the amenities a yokai could want. Hmm. So whatever it is, it does switch on. Fine, let's look at Tim. Whoa, that's one big statue. Must be something like 15 feet tall. And look, this Tim Matero has a staff. But the Tim Matero in the scroll didn't have one. Hmm, I wonder why. I feel like this could be significant. But why? Why two foxes? Why not just one? Sorry, I'll stop making that joke at some point. It's not even that good. Let's take a closer look. First to go around this table here. Ah, Apollo! Are you sure that's a good idea? Hey, it looks like there's some sort of compartment in the base of the statue. Don't open it! Who knows what might be in there? It's just a big empty compartment. And from all the dust and cobwebs, I'd say it hasn't been open in a really long time. That's enough, Apollo. Let's shut it and... Wait, there is something in here. Looks like some sort of figure, but it's so dusty, I can't tell what it's supposed to be. wonder what it's doing here. Forbidden chamber figure out of the court record. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we got the lanterns, we got that. Oh, 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 hello. It's a hobgoblin? Might be. Goblins and gnomes. Oh, look, there's an air vent here, too. I guess even forbidden chambers need proper ventilation. Hmm, 
but I don't think anyone could reach this one either. Yeah, and there's nothing to stand on around here. I wonder where this vent leads. Well, the Fox Chamber's vent didn't branch this way, so... Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with this case after all. Hmm... Alright, let's look at the staves. The staves. Hey, there's a bunch of staves here, and it looks like one's missing. The Ten Matero Jinx you saw must have taken it. I'd have to agree. These look like the one Detective Fulbright showed us. Why do you think there are so many here? Maybe there's spares. Tim Matero might be, you know, absent-minded or something. But the fact that he has spare staves handy, well... It shows that he's aware of his faults and is trying to deal with them. Or at least, that's my take on it. Maybe this will remind her to deal with her own faults. But I won't hold my breath. It's a weird, odd low below for some reason. Guess that about wraps it up. What now? We should probably talk to some of the witnesses again. You mean like Mr. Filch and Jinxie? Yeah, I really want to ask Mr. Filch about the village superstitions and Tin Matero. All right, let's just look at our notes. Okay, Jinky's possession, Filch about Tin Matero. Probably, I would guess Filch is going to show up first.